Hey, what's up everyone? I just want to give you a quick video walkthrough of the network features that have been added to version 1.1 .1 of Zenforce Protectors. Now I'm sure if you're watching this video, you already know, but version 1.1 .1 is a massive content update. I've been working on it since October of last year. It's still in development at the time of recording this video, although it is nearing completion. Version 1.1 .1 brings all new storyline, new maps, new content, new features, but these three right here are very exciting to me and I think that in the long run they'll be amazing for players of the game. You can see here there's three options in the network features. There's Bluetooth trading, online events and in-app purchases. Unfortunately, Bluetooth trading is going to be disabled when version 1.1 hits but will be enabled in one of the post updates just because it's not quite ready yet. But what it is, is it will allow you to trade Zenforms with a friend using the Bluetooth connection. It will also allow you to donate the Zenform, Alt or SP to your friend and expect nothing in return. Let me show you the in-app purchases. There's two types of in-app purchases. You can purchase a newborn Zenform or you can tip the developer. Now before you say, well, you did pay for the game, I don't want in-app purchases. They are completely optional, but I should state that Although I am a one man kind of development team, a lot of the artwork is commission based which means I pay the artist to make that sprite that you see. For example, the newborn Zenforms or any Zenform in the game has been paid for. The characters that you walk around with or even the maps, themselves, well not the maps but actually the graphics on the maps such as the buildings and the trees have all been paid for and they need to be paid for in future updates. The in pushing is a great way to help support me make this game and support the future updates. Let me walk you through pushing the newborn Freno. I've decided to use Apple's UI alert pop-ups throughout the whole stage of the purchase process. This way nothing is hidden from you and at any time you can just press the cancel or no button or whatever you're prompt to if you want to cancel the purchase. Let's go ahead with it. I don't know if I said it, I don't think I did but the newborn Zen forms are going to be purchased at Apple's tier 1 value which is 89 cent in euro, 99 cent in dollars, and I'm not quite sure of other currencies. It also says environment sandbox there because I am pushing this under a developer account. And there we go, Freno Star and Gwun has been added to my team or storage. Let me just show you the tipping of the developer. So as I said, let me just read out what it says here. It says send the developer a tip or donation. Well actually it said the other way around. This will not impact your game but allow the developer to use the money to buy more resources, example more art assets or music tracks for future updates and fan requested features. So you can see it's very simple here when you go into the tip developer there's several tiers, tier 1, tier 5, tier 10, tier 15 and tier 20. That's the tiers that Apple offer for purchases. I also have a message from Neogine which is me and if you press that it will actually give you a message from the Callus Product server and it will tell you how that message will be updated dynamically and it will tell you for example we might do like let's say a goal for funding of purchases of sprites of the Zen forms to walk around behind your character which is a highly requested fan feature. This text here will be able to update and show you if we're getting close to that goal or maybe just show you in general what the in-app purchase will be used on. Or sorry, the money from the in-app purchase used on. You can see here there's also the tips here, the different tiers. Again, you can choose to yes or no or you can say no. Lastly, let me show you the online events. Online events are absolutely amazing. They're dynamic, they're controlled by the College Project server. So, whatever I do on the server, it's dynamic to the game. The first, oh wait, sorry, let me just talk to you. So when you click into here, you can check for online data. There might not be an event. You'll have to stay tuned to the social sites, to, like switch to forum or the Twitter or Facebook for College Projects. To find out when an event is going on. Usually there'll be time frame, for example, a day or two days, a weekend type thing. Um, let me just read out what it says, online events are dynamic time based events and promotions that will happen in your game. All you have to do is keep an eye on the forum slash social sites for Callus projects for when one is starting and download it using Wi Fi or cell network. So you check the data, there actually is an event run. This event will be running, it's the first online event I've announced. It's, it will be running the entire day of release of version 1.1. And it's to celebrate the release of version 1.1, I'm giving away a free item that will heal your Zen forms by 35% and increase the war element stat by one. But not only that, it's unlimited download. As long as you can have the space to carry this item, you can keep downloading. So for example, let's download it a few times here. There it's downloaded once. Let's go back in and get it again. And again. And again. 
and there we go so speaking of that that will kind of help a lot of people that are worried about the in-app purchase that might charge for content i never want to charge for content like that they will be the only in-app purchases that will ever be in the game but the online events at the moment there's one online event i've announced which is the item giveaways which you just saw but i can tell you there's five types ready to roll with version 1.1 and all i have to do is just roll them out through the server let me show you those purchases now in the game so if we go into the Zenform team here, you can see there's the Freena that I purchased. I am running a test build, so I had no Zenforms at the point there. If we went to the bag, I can't remember how many I bought, I think I bought three, that's one now. And there you can see it's the three items that we've downloaded. And again, if you want to access them, it's in the back button there. You go into Network Features, and there they are again. And again, you can check and download your items. So really that's it for the online features or the kind of the network features I should say. Again there will be a lot more the Bluetooth trading will be enabled in an update. I will never charge in our purchases for any type of content in terms of like storyline or quests. They are 100 percent optional if you don't want to use them just ignore that option in the menu. And remember to keep your eye out for the online events and be sure to download them. Thanks for watching.